Hi, my name is Adriana Lee, and I'm 22 years old. I'm in Austin, Texas, and this is Financial Audit. What do you do for a living here in Austin? Um, I'm a content creator. Okay, what kind of content are we creating? Um, I primarily, well, I guess I started um, with like Twitch streaming, but I also do YouTube and Instagram and everything short form, you know, the oh, mass short form posting. So, oh, TikTok too? Yeah. How many followers do you have on TikTok, Instagram? Um, 109K TikTok, 112K That's Instagram. I'm jealous of that. Yeah. You people won't follow me there. Instagram is really tough, but if you post a lot of reels, some of them might blow up, and that's where I got most of my followers. So. Gotcha. Uh, and then how many do you have on YouTube subscribers? Um, I only have 15K right now. Okay, yeah, definitely on the smaller side it's for the, the YouTube, but past that monetization yeah. subscriber part threshold. Yeah, so. I get like um, $6 a month from there. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, you don't make your living there. No, and but how, I put the most money into that one. So How many subscribers, paid followers or whatever on Twitch? Um, It varies. Some like between the months, but right now I only have like a hundred because 100. I haven't streamed in like two months. Well, I have, but not like streamed, you know? Okay. Like I click go live and I'm like, Hey, and then I like take another break. So across all sources, what are we bringing in on average? So take your high months, take your low months average. What are we bringing in on a monthly basis? Right My now? average, um, is 4,000 to 6,000. Six. So that's like livable. We're living off of content creation. Yeah. That's really good. I mean, that's more than livable. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And okay. Well, how do you feel living off of that and creating content and all that stuff? Um, I feel good. I wish that my money came from YouTube more than it did on platforms that like require my subscribers to pay out of pocket, like Twitch and stuff. Because if it was YouTube, they just got to watch a couple ads. And it's this is the best platform for content creators. I, I mean, not to be a you. shell, but I love YouTube. It is the it's best. It's like the best. So, um, well, that's awesome. I mean, you're doing what so many people dream of. So that's absolutely fantastic. Okay. So that's fantastic. We can I, still I be very so happy, yeah. happy on that. And then just growing from there. Uh, her link tree is in the description below for mm -hmm. those who want to uh, check out her stuff. So that's exciting. Where does your financial situation sit today? Where do you think you're at? Give us a little basic summary and then give yourself a score zero out of 10. Okay. My financial situation right now is not good. I think it's actually the worst that it's ever been ever. So I'm glad that I'm here. What, in like your life? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Easily. Um, well, I don't know. Actually, maybe not my life. When you're young. Because like my past, I guess I get into it a little bit. I like used to be... Um, I got cut off when I was 17, so I had to work two jobs while I was still in high school. And then um, the minute I got out of high school, I had those two jobs. I went to college full time at Wayne State, and I um, I had to live there too because it's like parent situation. And then I also was a wedding videographer, so I had three jobs, Jeez. and I streamed on Twitch, and I took a lot of Adderall, prescribed, but. Well, you um, said a lot. That makes it sound abused. Well, not abused. <laughs> okay. Prescribed and, and used as prescribed. Not abused since we're on YouTube. But, um, yeah, I, I worked a lot, and um, I was always, like, really jealous of, like, all my friends because their parents would help them with things. And even to this day, I have that jealousy over a lot of my friends. But... Um, Are you addicted? What? Are you addicted? To Adderall? Do we have addictions? Yeah. Well, not anymore. But, but were. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it wasn't like, uh, like I love how it feels. It's like, I have to work. So it wasn't like a option, I guess. It I know like, that people who have to stay on camera live for hours and hours and hours tend to get into that stuff. Yeah. hundred percent. It's definitely, I definitely had trouble, trouble with it when I was streaming. Um, but now I don't because, and I'm grateful that like I can live comfortably without having to do that. And I think that also buys into my spending and how I'm like, Oh, like I, I'm not struggling to get by as much as I was. Okay. Um, but, uh, that buys into my spending now. And, um, there's been like times when, when being a content creator, I get a lot of money and then I pay off all my cards and then I'm like, cool, I'm not going to run these up again. And then I do, oh, you know what that makes you? I don't know how much... A bad credit card user. Yeah, you're not a credit card person. You're yeah. not a credit card person. But you, it's hard not to be... you branded, not a credit card person. It's hard not to be because American Express loves me. Well, no, they love to f*** you. When we haven't well, gotten through it, but they love to love. just... Uh, uh, yeah, well, I guess that's true. But <laughs> it's, they're, they're ruining you. They love your debt. They love your interest. They love to just... Yeah. So... But I love them. Give, why the f*** 
Why? Because they upgrade sense. me to first class sometimes. Is that worth everything? I, I really like it, actually. Why don't we just do better financially so you can just afford first class? I want to take a brief moment to thank today's episode sponsor, Kudos. Be warned, this sponsorship is for credit card people. If you are not a credit card person like many people in these episodes, close your ears, skip, I don't care. This is for credit card people only. Summer is right around the corner and the average household is expected to spend $2,644 on travel. And if that sounds like you, you should try Kudos. Kudos is a free shopping extension that works on your computer and iPhone to get the most rewards back from your credit cards whenever you shop online. But don't just listen to me. Kudos has saved the average user $750 per year. So don't wait. Use code Caleb to get Kudos for free by clicking the link below or by going to joinkudos.com forward slash Caleb. The future will thank you later. Because like, it's like free. Yeah, but you're the, what I think American Express is potentially the last one in this death pile. pile it's the of worst. Death. One. Exactly. So you're losing all this in interest. So why are we? I am. Oh, you're getting me. Okay, you're getting me immediately. Okay. Give okay. yourself I'm a sorry. score, zero out of ten. Okay, my score is one right now. But sometimes I can be an eight. But right now I'm one. Maybe not eight. No, yeah, eight. Yeah, because I paid. Okay, I'm gonna tell you something right now. Tell me something right now. In the beginning of 2022, my credit score was 760. That doesn't necessarily mean your finances were good, though. But they were. Okay. But now, I'm chilling at high 500s, which is really bad. Dude, that's terrible. But before we get into this, I would like to let you know, I called my credit union in Michigan and I said, hey, can I have a loan Michigan, woo. to consolidate my debt? And they're oh, like, okay. yeah, we can give it to you at 15%. And I was like, that's really good because my credit cards are high. And um, bad when that's considered really good. Continue. But then they were like, where are your taxes? And I was like, well, I haven't done them the past two years. What the f***? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, but listen, I just got a CPA and I'm doing 2022 as we speak. Are you doing back taxes for 2021, 2020? Yes. Well, I did 2020. You already, okay, 2021, you're doing back? Yeah. I just haven't gone through all my statements on 2021 yet. Dude, why did you not do it? I know. I know it's bad. But to, in my defense, and there's no defense, but everyone around me is like, it's okay. I don't pay taxes either. They're stupid. I know. F them. They're stupid. But I'm only two years behind and I'm taking care of it now. Only two years behind. If you don't want to be two years behind on your taxes, I don't know how this is going to help, but hit that subscribe button because we're trying to get to 500,000 subscribers and we're so close. Yes. IRS don't come for me. Well, well I don't might. know if I can help you with that part, but yeah, we're, we're working with these CPAs. Did you file for extension for this year at least, or we just yeah. have it paid? Oh, okay. I checked the IRS website. They're like, oh, due in October. So I'm like, okay, cool. And then your taxes are going to be due not too long after that again for this year. So are we setting money aside right now? For, for the for $4,000, $6,000 that comes in, are you setting 25% aside minimum? I have money aside. How much do you have set aside? Um, I have 2000 That's not enough. In an account. In an account. And then I have 900 in an account. And then I have 3000 in Robinhood. But I was trying to save to move. Phew, you, you have to pay taxes. Taxes comes before moving. Yeah, but they have a payment plan. Don't do a payment plan. I did a payment plan for 2020. Yeah, but don't. That's, you, right. You're just going to be on infinite payment plans. Just save the money and pay it. If you're on payment plans, that takes from your disposable income that you could be investing. Yeah, I guess you're right. Pull up that. Pull up, let's, before we even get into this, let's see this Robin Hood. Let's see this Robin Hood. What is... I've never pulled anything out of Robin Hood besides Doge. Just so you know. It's been growing for a while. I want you to invest, but we have to pay. We have to take care of the things that are required to pay before we can do things. Dude, just stressing me out. We haven't yeah, but I like things. that it's in Robin Hood because I'm impulsive and crazy. You're, yeah. Um, th I never touch Robin Hood. Okay, let's put it in a high yield savings account that you would never touch anyway. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it, it's grown from 2,900 to <laughs> 3,100. So it's not, it and that's over a year. So it hasn't even been that incredible. In fact, I mean, it was once at 2,230, so you're down from your peak. What are we in? We're in HL. HL, HL, what's HL? Oh, that was my free one. Mining? It was oh, my free okay, one. Okay, okay. S&P 500, I'm chill with this. Yeah. $410, no, and that's the, great. VOO. I watched the stock okay. guy. Shout out stock guy on Twitch. He, I like him. Oh, and. You're in two S&P 500. Okay, I already know you're going to yell at me about this. Huge. So I'm going to tell you this. 
I had a family friend reach out to me and be like, oh my God, I'll be your financial advisor. And I was like, okay, I guess I need that. And they put me in life insurance and I was paying a hundred dollars a month for life insurance, which is like, like they grow it. Term or whole life? Um, I think you don't even know. I don't even know. That's fine. And I told them, I told them, I was like, hi, um, I want to take this out and I want, I wanted a Roth IRA. That's what I asked from her in the first place. And then she's like, we can't do that because you have credit card debt. And then this other guy came on the phone and started mansplaining. And it was just like, I literally have argued with them for like literally hours at a time. And so still I have $700 sitting somewhere. What the f***? Did you open a Roth IRA? No, I wanted to, but well, we need me. to get on to this debt that we haven't even come close to touching okay. yet. And then we're maxing out Roth IRA because you're 2020. You have eight years left of the best decade of compound growth in your life. It's fantastic. Yeah. You could be incredibly easily a millionaire. Easily a millionaire. Really? But that's if we get out of this. Yes, really. But that, okay. no, but not the way you're doing it. <laughs> not the way you're well, doing it. Well, because I think of it this way I'm young. Yeah, f- and, you're young. That's and, why you have the time to get to a million. Yeah. But I'm young and I want to live my life. Live your life and prepare for the future life okay. that you're living. $6,500 a month, uh, a year is not month when you, is not much when you're bringing in four to $6,000 a year. Yeah. All right, so looking in here in this bills account is $374. Yeah, because um, that's my account that I put, I usually keep that at like around 2,000, that way, or like, 3,000? I don't know. I keep it high because I just, everything's auto pay out of there. I did use it for Ikea recently. Yes, you did. $122. Yeah, I did. I bought a new slab of wood for my desk. Did you need a new slab of wood when we're in debts that you're not paying off? Yeah, because I was making a TikTok. Did the TikTok pay for it? No, No. because TikTok does not pay. Yeah, but I, okay. I just did my whole setup. I reset it. So it's going to help me be motivated to stream more. All right, so we're making excuses. We're justifying. Then we're paying off cards. We're paying off cards. We're transferring things around. We have a $10 overdraft. Okay, You overdrafted. That's a pause. So that overdraft is not from me. I never let things overdraft. But you still overdrafted, though. Yeah, but it was her fault. So, and I texted her about it. Okay, so we're we're getting this back in. It was technically someone else's fault, but you still overdrafted. If you were helping and taking care of someone... You, you, we just can't do but that. But I told her I can't help and take care of her. Like, if she wants to use that, that's on her. But you need to be in a position before you do anything, where you're not getting hurt. $10 taken away, overdraft. Yeah. And latitude, and we're just paying things off and restore. Latitude. What's toilet. restore? Okay. Because you go there every single second of your life. Restore. Wait, how do you know that? Because it's all over here. Okay, it's a monthly it's payment, first of all, because I have a membership. Monthly payment, my It is. Okay. And it's my IVs. What are you iv Okay, so I get IVs because I had a problem with my hair falling out, and when I drink, I can't throw up. So um, usually I'll get an IV. That way it, like, restores... It's in the name. It restores me. Does it work? Yeah, it does. Because I can't throw up. So when I drink and I feel, like, really disgusting, I can't just be like, Ugh, which I wish I could. But um, I get IVs instead. I, I guess I could go without it. I mean, I don't, I don't know anything about it. And we're just paying off cards and we're just paying bills. Yeah, that's, I don't know that's anything my bills account. I'm not going to talk on science. I do not know. It's okay. But you could also just not drink. Yeah, I haven't been drinking recently, so. Not the best habit, drinking, but. Okay, the, this is the checking account. We have $1,450 in there. Okay, I'm chilling. Oh, and that's it, good. Actually, a lot of it came out because I had to pay the tax guy $900 to do my taxes. So we're sitting at what, like seven hundred fifty or something? I don't know. What, what's the, what's the math? Yeah, I don't know. We're sitting at like five hundred fifty. I think so, but I also what I do when I have a lot of money in my checking is I just move it to some of my credit cards. Good, but but we'll get to, oh we'll get to that. You're selling out one hundred twenty five dollars. We're going see, to Chili's sixty one dollars. I, I threw a hundred in there. I know. Yeah, you threw a hundred out of cards. That's fantastic. But one hundred twenty five is selling out. Don't know where that one. Sixty one dollars spent at Chili's. Just, Dutch Bros. Five okay, forty three. Okay. Forty one dollars PayPal and out because we're doing something. And Dutch Bros. Eleven forty two. Some six dollar purchase to seven eleven. So that wasn't gas unless oh, we're just some, getting the weirdest gas the, ever. Dutch Bros. Eleven sixty three. Listen, uh, Pride Family. That's my doctor. Okay, we're, we're chilling with And that. a lot of PayPal. PayPal and PayPal and the, PayPal. A lot of PayPal. 99 Ranch, 99 You'll Ranch, see. Kura, Velvet Taco. Not even... What? A lot of my PayPals 
are for my editors. Okay. But some of the little ones are just reoccurring payments. That I don't like Discord Nitro ones. Salon, $418. Yeah. I'll tell you why. I made the mistake of, okay, this is why. Okay, it's kind of a long story, so sorry to ramble, but I wanted to look good because there's a chance that I would get signed and get a literal salary to this thing that I was literally been led on since August to get signed to. Okay. And they were like, no, it was like, like, um, like a collab channel. And they were like, come to LA. You'll have a better chance if you come to LA. So I'm like, I need to look my best. I need to be my best self before I go to LA. So I got my hair, I got extensions, but they weren't mine. They're my mom's. So I, like didn't have to pay for them. I just had to pay for to put them in. And then those extensions ruined my life. So this is me getting my extensions out and my hair redone because I would show you my bald spot right now, but I'm not going to. Um, my extensions literally like ripped my hair out and it was like a mess. So I know I wasn't in the financial space. Is, is that hair real? Yeah. Okay. But there is like a bald spot here from my extensions because they're I know that that wasn't a financial choice, but I booked that appointment in the middle of the night because I was crying and I was like, I just can't do this anymore. And not to cope even more, but um, my looks are a big part of my income. They are. But we do this. Well, if we were out of debt, it would be totally fine. Yeah. PayPal and Epidemic Sound, PayPal and a lot of the money's coming in from Kick and uh, Fan House and Twitch and stuff like that. Yeah. Nintendo, and PayPal and Park and PayPal and, and sponsors too. Epidemic. Yeah, academic, ap- epidemic sound and PayPal Shutter and stop. Lily Pulitzer. Yeah, that was that PayPal, was um, PayPal. The Lily PayPal. one was a purchase of an outfit. Twitch Inter, Twitch Inter. I subscribed to somebody. Oh, okay. And PayPal and PayPal and PayPal and Google Storage and PayPal and selling out money and parking and Big Top Candy Shop and Nature and Paddle.com and Epidemic Sounds and Madwell and Interspace Cavern and Whataburger. So even if some of that is paying for your editors, which I'm okay with, there's a lot of bull spending in there. Bull spending? When your debt's insane, which we haven't even talked about yet, insane debt, and you're spending on BS. Why are we BS spending? Because, okay, sometimes when people visit, I gotta show them a good f- them. Have them pay. I don't give a yeah. crap. You're in debt. Why does it matter? Okay, also... Do you not care about the rest of your life? I do. Then why? Why are we doing this? Why are we not sacrificing anything? I'm sacrificing... Oh, f- you. What are you sacrificing? Yeah, maybe I'm not sacrificing anything. Yeah, well, exactly. Now I am. You wonder why I'm rude? Ever, it's because of no, that. I, ever since I started watching your videos, I start, stopped ordering food. Completely. I haven't gone out to eat once since you watched I've my first video. I've gone out to eat, but I haven't ordered food. Huh? I haven't ordered food. Like so you haven't house. paid? Like, I haven't ordered food to my house. Oh, my god! But gosh. I would go so out. So that's what we consider being good? No, you're spending on BS when we have endless debt. And by the way, the rest of this is only endless debt. There's nothing else yeah. good to talk about. Yeah. Well, that's why I'm here. I know that's why you're here, <laughs> but you're saying, like, it's okay and, and that you're sacrificing. I'm not, okay, I'm not really sacrificing, but it is okay. No, it's not. Why is it okay? Because it's not not it's not okay, but it's not not okay. What does that mean? What does that possibly mean? Like I'll figure it out. You know what I mean? That doesn't make sense. Okay. I'll figure it out is a kick the can down the road no, forever until we die in a Walmart floor type I, of thing. I always think in my life, if I made it out of what I made it out of before, that I could do it again. Okay, but let's also be realistic and pretend we're not living in a book that's written by some nice author. It's not a book. It's just... Well, it's not a movie either. Life is life. We can't just be because I... Yeah, I'm glad you made it out of whatever situation. I don't Mm -hmm. even know. Fantastic. Yeah. Like, cool, we can celebrate that. Doesn't mean that this situation is excusable that we can just get out of it because time exists. Or because something happened in the past. It's actionable plans that are taking and then realizing that, yes, we are spending on bullshit that we don't need to be spending on. We're not sacrificing, actually. And that we actually go in and take care of our shit for a better life. I, that's why I'm digging in c- yeah. to get that point through. I think that's why I'm here. I'm glad because, uh, not to not to say like this, I am, that is why I'm here. Because I do have bad spending habits and I know that. And I know my bad spending habits are from my past and from how I was raised. That's why I want my mom on the show because she's worse than me. Like 
three times worse than me, the spending. But let's continue. Debt. Yeah. We're going to start right off the bat. Oh, we didn't even get into the credit cards yet. I didn't even realize. We have $7,000 on Apple Card. Well, you took it down to 6744 Okay. Mm. That's still insane. It's an insane. Minimum? Okay. Okay. The minimum payment on that is crazy. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Why are, why are we doing this? Um, okay. When I signed up for an Apple Card, I thought it was just for the Apple Store, and I wanted a MacBook because I was like, I'm buckling in and I'm editing, and I did. I edited the most I've ever edited ever since I got that computer. Um which I was like, cool. But then I found out it wasn't just an Apple card. And then my spending did the thing. And it's so easy just to go. It is. That's why you are not a credit card person. Chop them up. Use debit cards. Use but the it's fist. metal. I do- <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Keep going. I'm kidding. Oh. But it is metal. So I don't know how to chop that up. $280 minimum monthly payment. If you just do the minimum monthly payments, which is what you're doing, for it's going to take 21 years to pay off, and you're going to pay a total of $20,000, because that's how the interest you. Now, what I do not get, if you are putting money towards it and you're starting to pay off, why are we spending money? Why are we possibly spending money? What is the mindset behind it? I'm what? Sorry, I'm looking at the dates on there, because I haven't used my card in a while. You haven't used a credit card in a while, as in like a, a week? That's good. A week and a half? That's a while? <laughs> Curry revolving an Apple Bill, Taco Bell, Apple Bill, Starbucks, Apple Bill, Apple, Apple Bill, Bell, 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 Taco, Apple Bill, Apple Bill, Apple Bill. I don't swipe. Tyson's Tacos, Starbucks, Apple Bill, Apple Bill. Okay, the Apple Bill is obviously reoccurring. Yeah, but they're, for, they're everything. Sixty three fifty nine on that oh, Apple Bill. Twenty two twenty five on that Apple Bill. Sixteen ninety five on that Apple Bill. Dollar oh five on that Apple Bill. Two dollars eleven cents on that Apple Bill. Ten dollars on that Apple Bill. Six hours on They're that They're like my apps. Ten, yeah, no sh- but I don't know what they are. Go to your subscriptions. It takes two clicks. You get there You're and right. you cancel them. But I can't cancel Discord Nitro. You can cancel. Okay, I don't care. <laughs> but you can cancel the rest of them. Okay, okay. You can cancel the rest of them. Okay. I, I just don't get the point. Why are we I know. doing this? I, didn't, I don't really look at my things, but I'm looking. Well, it's time to start looking. I need to get to your mindset. Okay. I need to get to your mindset or else we're not going to overcome this at all. All right. So what are we doing? Why? Why are you doing this? If you're trying to pay this off, if you know the interest rate's absolutely terrible, I don't even know what the interest rate is, but it's probably absolutely disgusting. You lost $131 in interest on this payment. We're doing minimum monthly payments. The minimum monthly payments are way too expensive. And you already have... Three things finance, something from the Apple. This is probably the MacBook, and then crap, and then crap, and then crap. Oh, it's my iPad and my Apple Pencil. Great, because you needed an iPad. Okay, I did. So, okay, so why are we doing this? Oh, you want to why I got an iPad? I don't give a sh. Tell me okay. why you're spending this it's money. Okay, anyways, I'm spending this money because I have a spending problem. So what's the mentality? I'm not, I'm not validating it. I'm just explaining no, 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 to you no, no, no. why. Oh, what's the spending? Let's get to the root of the spending okay, problem. Why are you spending? Okay, this is the root of my spending problem. I grew up pretty poor. And now I make a lot of money every month. And I'm like, yeah, I'm that B word. Um, because I make this money in the back of my mind subconsciously. I know consciously that I shouldn't be spending this money. But subconsciously, I'm like... I deserve it. So why is the conscious, rational understanding of you don't have money, we're in bad debt, we're losing a lot of interest rate, why is that being overcome by the emotional, yeah. Um, hmm. I would like to say mental illness, but that's not, that's just a joke. Um, but it is probably very impulsive and that is a problem, but I'm in therapy. Good. And I talked to my therapist about this. About this specifically? Mm-hmm. Have you... Tr- because one time I had a really bad incident where I thought the world was ending and I spent $500 at H-E-B. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, no, that is definitely something we'd want to see a therapist about. But I'll tell you what. Tell me what. A lot of my financial things are from traveling because um, I my parents are far away. Michigan, yeah. And I get it. my, my roommate's too. parents are in California. Wow. So, American Express. Okay. The card that gives us free first class upgrades. It's my favorite card. Yeah, it's your favorite card, and it's you're their favorite, like, swiper in the world because you owe them $10,000, $10,800. Okay, but it wasn't my choice. Okay, this is not an excuse, but I want to say this. It wasn't my choice to have that limit. I had... 2500 It's your choice to spend the money. But they were like, 
Um, you're, we love that's you. actually pissing me off if you're not going to take responsibility. Well, you want to know why it's so high? Is because um, I decided to start a show. It's called Drinking with Dree. And I invite three creators from Austin, which I'd like to invite you on. Um, and we, like, it's kind of like this. Like, I have my living room set up like this. And there's, like, a little, like, studio area. And um, it's, like, a whole show where I, like, like script out, like, the games and everything. And in order to start the show, I needed, like, a lot of things. Oh. So, but, again, it went back into proving myself for this company that I wanted to get signed to, which, to this day... I haven't gotten signed to, but a lot of these, like, okay, listen, a lot of these big payments are kind of like when you're a content creator, like me, um, you have to like take these opportunities or like take these, like, uh, like going to LA, for example, like they're like, Oh, if you can make it next week, next week, then it was a really big expense. Yeah. You know, you got spammed by them. But when it comes to the setting up your set and stuff like that, like, okay, when I started mine, I started with the table I already had. Just in my. I started with a lot of things I already had, but I had but to get But you some still racked too. up this ten thousand, and then I started with a, a cheap camera, and then a filmographer. Okay, and I that's also great. pay out people. But I didn't do any of this until I could pay for it with the money yeah. that the company was generating. Well, you went ten thousand eight hundred thirty-one dollars in debt. I don't care if you use some of the stuff that you well, already had. Well, it's hard. Okay, it's hard not to consider an investment when all your money is from content creation, and you hear funnel it back into that. But then what? you're going to say, oh, it's American Express's money. Yeah, I know. But it's like an investment. Investment is you make more money off of it. Right now, you're losing interest on this. You're not paying off a credit card. How was I supposed to know I wasn't going to make more money off of it? Oh, my goodness. No. Okay, come on. Okay. I'm listening. That's why we cash flow. If you're going to make some kind of leverage thing, do it in something you're overly informed in. I like good leverage on cash flowing, 12% cash on cash, minimum return yeah. rental properties. This you were not informed on. You're right. It was a gamble. So the question, how would I know if I'm going to make money on it? If you don't have the answer to that question, you don't do it but it's kind of like streaming in general because if that okay not to cope because i understand what you're saying and i acknowledge it but streaming in general it's kind of like why do it if, like if i go live i could get two dollars or i can get a thousand dollars yeah but that, that doesn't mean stream. you have to put in ten thousand dollars to start streaming you can start streaming yeah. with what you have and then build up from there and i did every good but then this yeah, I guess I just got a little too used to the game. Every one. single one of us content creators, we start with whatever we just have. Yeah. Unless we come from money, but the vast majority of That's us right. don't. Yeah. More Google storage. On Trier plan. What's that? Um, $30? That's my renter's insurance. Oh, okay. Oh, that's chill. That's chill. Kindle, TubeBuddy, Delta Airlines, Delta Airlines. Yeah. Dutch Bros, Prime Video, Uber Eats, Macy's. Come on. We don't need to be doing all those. I understand if you got scammed. If you got f***ed by that company, that sucks. Okay, yeah. I get that. Not 100% your fault. I don't know the whole story. Whatever. But still, come on. Uh, a lot of that is bullshit coming in there. What's the minimum monthly payment on this thing? I think it's like 50. Yeah. It's not that high. But I don't, I don't only pay minimum. Like every You pay more than that, but then you spend it all back. And then interest mm -hmm. accrues on it. I mean, this has to be like... What, another $150 in interest? Maybe more, maybe like $200? I can't see. All I have is this. I think it's like 27. 27% interest? Yeah. Now we have a MasterCard. My first card. That's what got you down this road of death. I know. My first purchase on it was an oil change, and now look at me. $3,356. Total credit available, 143. 143. This is maxed out. They're all maxed out. That's why I'm here. Fuck. What's the minimum monthly payment on this? Because I can't see it. I think it's like 40. They're all pretty low except for the What's Apple the interest one. rate on this? Uh, it's, oh, not like as high as, it's not as high as the American Express one. Okay, Maybe like, like 20? 24, I think. It's not 4%. 24. Oh. Okay. So, death. Okay. And what are we doing? Okay. Yeah, we're putting a little money to it. But guess what? We're going to go back to maxing out again with $11.33, 7-Eleven purchase, and Amazon, and Amazon, and Uber Eats, and parking, and Amazon, and Uber Eats, and Amazon. So what's the point of even making payments to this if we're just spending more money on it, maxing it out, and getting some interest? I don't understand. You're working with your therapist on it. 
I'm working with your therapist on it. Yeah. Uh, okay. This one's low. Don't worry. Yeah, but it's stupid. I don't even know what it's for. I know. What is this? Because, okay, so because I didn't have money for a while, my other cards were maxed out, I had to use my Target credit card even though I just paid it up because I needed to buy groceries. And I could pay this right now if I wanted to. Then do it! Then I will. Uh, I'll do it literally right now. Do it! Okay. Three seventy four fifty nine. Wait, before you do it. Actually, no, I need my computer for this. I forgot to do the Target one. Every other card I can pay on my phone. What's the minimum monthly payment on this thing? It's 30. My mom told me to get this card, to be fair, even though I know I don't know this my mom. Don't trust parents when it comes to financial don't decisions, don't usually in the them. American system, because everyone is financially uneducated. Yeah. And that's why I'm here to You're putting money. money on this. Last statement balance, 153. You spent money on it. No, the last statement balance was because I paid it down. N- so no, last statement balance was at 153. Current balance 374. Well, because I bought groceries. Stop putting it on. You're not a credit card person no more. You just can't use credit cards. Yeah, I agree. Will you agree to just get rid of your credit cards? But what if an emergency happens? You have an emergency but fund. But I don't have one yet. We will do that. Okay, fine. Then I'll agree. But okay, no point if I don't use my credit cards, do I cancel them or is that bad for my credit score? You, what you... Okay. What we can do with credit, I can talk to you about another card that I connect okay. with. The Fizz card. It's geared towards college students. You're actually in that age range, so it okay. kind of might work. It helps build credit. It's in the credit card, debit card hybrid world. And you can limit, it helps you limit spending on certain categories, which is perfect for you and your uncontrolled spending. But here's, okay, sorry to be like this. What if I need to go somewhere? Like I need to buy a plane ticket and go somewhere. Because these things happen. Need how? Need how? Like I'm Tell going me to a how. funeral this week. Huh? I'm going to a funeral this week. Uh, for who? My uncle. Okay. We are pretty close. We have an emergency fund for those kind of things. Okay. And we will get there. If you have to use a credit card for anything, that means you're already in the bad spot. So. Yeah. We're going to get you to the place where you don't have to do this. What is this? Um, I have my PayPal credit and it is used only for, um, my stream stuff and my editors. Okay, so it's business, but we still have balances on there. You have an available credit of $53, so it's, again, maxed out $646. I'm... Yep. I'm good with these things. Put them on a business. I know. Open a business checking and put it in there. Yeah. It's hard. Okay. Minimum due $0? I pay all my things on time. Yeah, what's the normal minimum monthly payment on this thing, though? 40 Okay. Interest rate? I don't know. Is this also, what is this? Mm. This is crap. Oh, this is just my target card payments. Oh, so what you're spe- more, this is target, 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 target? Yeah, because they, they don't really specify anything. It's just target. And here's my car, and I. before you say anything, I will not be selling it. But I am going to be refinancing it. But listen. Oh, refinancing a home, you're five point whatever percent when interest rates are at the my, highest. When my score goes back up. Okay. Listen to me, okay? I was so close to refinancing it. I had no I was seven hundred and fifty credit score. I had no credit card debt. I was living my life. And then I go to refinance it with my credit union and they say, You need a driver's license. And I'm like, bruh. Um because apparently if you let your license expire when it's from out of state, you have to retake the entire test and course. But you let your license expire. Because I didn't know I'd retake the whole test. I thought- it's No, like, you just redo your license because you need a driver's license to drive. I know, and I was gonna do it after it expired, which it expired on my birthday, my 21st birthday. And then I'm like, cool, I gotta get a new license. So I go in that week of, I go in the week of my 21st birthday, they're like, you have to retake everything. So I, and then it was literally jumping through hoops because then I'm like, okay, I, w- I would like to retake the test, please. Then they're like, you have to register your car and do this and do that. So I was literally like every single day in the tax office, in the DMV, in the 500 different offices they have in Texas because they don't just have a um, secretary of state, like a normal person. And yeah, it sucks in Texas. And it was just like literally jumping through hoops, waiting for appointments. And I finally got my license. But by the time I got my license, it was too late. Because I was in debt. You owe $12,684.91. What is the car? You're not going to like it. What is it? It's a Land Rover LR4. Year? 
2011. It's kind of old at this point. What? It's kind of old at this point. It is old. You, but you like it? I apparently? like it. I like it because I can always find it in a parking lot. Four hundred dollar minimum monthly payment, essentially rounded up. That's yeah, that's interest really rate nine percent. Because I got it when I was nineteen. I don't even know what you'd refinance it at. I mean, even with a halfway decent credit score, it's not going to be much better than that. Seventy-two months, but you took it out a while ago. You're almost like halfway through, mm-hmm. so you're kind of on. You're starting to get in the second, like on the better side of the interest anyway. I don't know if I would uh, sell it, and I don't know if I'd refinance either. Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, you don't really have the choice. Because how much interest I paid. Yeah, year to date five hundred. It's not good, but you're getting on the better side of the interest. And again, if you had a halfway decent credit score, which would take a lot of work for you and time, with where interest rates are, I don't know if you're going to get something much better to really make a difference. When with the I, plan we're going to put in action. Okay, when I got that, I was nineteen, and my truck, because I used to drive a two thousand two Ford F one fifty, kept breaking down literally every month, and well, it was my grandpa's, and I bought it off of him. Uh, for cheap anyways so it broke down every month so i was like it's time for me to just get a car that isn't going to break down every month because i would like drive to and from detroit and literally get like my car break down the middle of detroit and it was like not safe and um but anyways so i got that car and no one could co-sign for me because obviously my parents can't co-sign for me because they don't have good credit scores and um they were like you have good credit but you don't have good credit history because you're so young um, so it was like a big deal, and that's why my interest rate is so high. Either way, $37,490 of total debt. Not a single piece is good debt. It's all terrible car debt, cr- terrible credit card debt, terrible... I have a question. Minimum monthly payments, $1,551. My question is, is our student loan debt being forgiven or no? No. For real? Yeah, for real. Okay, because I have 9000 of that, and I don't know how to pay it. I had your minimum monthly payments wrong, but I'll tell you in a second. Okay. $9,000 federal student loans that already start in a few months, so that's going to probably be about $150 in minimum monthly payments. Okay. I paid most of my school up front because my parents didn't do taxes, so... Did you graduate? No. Year and a half, Wayne State. What did you go to school for? Film. Makes sense. Yeah, and it was a waste of my time because... Um, The reason I dropped out is I talked to the lady. I said, what can I reasonably, like, how can I reasonably get a job with this degree after? She's like, you could do wedding videography for a company. And I was like, I already do that. So then I dropped out. Your minimum monthly payments are $983.15, which is death. It's a quarter of your income. Yeah. And then you still need to set money aside for taxes. Gas spent $165. Fast food and stuff, you spent $440. Four hundred forty dollars. You did all this. Yeah. Whoa, that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I don't buy much gas. Well, you still spend a lot going out. I do. You can't afford. I've been that telling anymore. my friends now recently. Well, they can pay for it. Yeah, they have been. Good. They can pay for it, or you do free fund. I don't care. Either way, you cannot afford it. Doesn't make any sense. Ready for a budget? Are you actually gonna do if we lay it out? I promise you, I'll literally come back. Good. Well, yeah, you better. So we have debt. Nine eighty three. Wait. Nine eighty three. Let me check what I look like. Just because my lip gloss does this thing sometimes. Okay. Wait. Okay, I'm good. Let's say okay. So it's four to six thousand dollars. So we're gonna do five thousand dollars a month. Nine hundred eighty three goes to debt. You're setting aside for taxes minimum. <laughs> this, is, you know, this is something you've definitely not been doing. $1,250 a month. A month? 25%, girl. Get used to it. You're in America. Mm. It sucks. It absolutely is devastating. But it's the reality. Right. Or else I thought I lived in Texas. Isn't that the, the point of living in Texas? You don't get income tax, but you still have to pay your federal taxes. And with the rent you're paying and living in Austin. And eventually, well, if you get a property, that. you're about to just get... <laughs> When it comes to property taxes. So do you think I should buy worst. property here or in Michigan? Wherever you want to live, but either way, taxes overall are lower in Michigan, even though they have uh, income and property taxes, but because our property taxes are so insane and our sales taxes are uh, 2.5% higher than in Michigan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, we're still paying more taxes here in <sighs> um, financially free Texas. No, Damn. we pay endless taxes here in Texas. It's terrible. I don't know what people are talking about when they think they're moving here and saving money. Well, why'd you move here? 
I moved here for Austin. Okay. And for a job. Um, and then I was also under the misunderstanding that taxes would be better. Yeah. This is the income tax, but the income tax you pay in Michigan is like a few hundred bucks. Yeah. And that's it. Like a year. Okay, either way. So that's for taxes. That's for debt. What's your portion of rent? Uh, nine fifty. Your portion of utilities, internet, all that good stuff? I pay all of those. Okay. Well, we what don't do you, have... What is it? Um, can I look at my phone? Mm-hmm. We don't have internet because it's paid for by... It's in the rent. Yeah. Um, my electric is 100 My rent insurance is $35. My pet insurance is 60 And then all those reoccurring things, I don't know how much that adds up to. Well, you're canceling your reoccurring subscriptions that aren't necessary for your business. Yeah, my car insurance is $250 average. Okay. Because sometimes it goes up, sometimes it goes what down. What was that gas? What did we say for gas? Um, I don't know because I don't really drive that much. But I do have Which to put premium in my car. interesting because this is a very car-dependent city. I don't leave my house that much. And when I do... Yeah, that's true in real life. Gas, 165. I mean, it's still a lot. <laughs> For like a month? 165? It depends. Well, I have I mean, to. I mean, you drive a Land Rover. So. Yeah. Uh, groceries? I know you kind of split it with someone else who kind of cook with your roommate, but. What do you think it should be at? Well, your portion is now going to be 200. Okay. They can do, be, do whatever, but your portion is the max you can contribute to is 200. Then toilet paper and uh, apartment. Oh, that doesn't count as a portion? Nuh-uh. Uh, everything else okay. is 50. Another 50 that you can contribute oh. to, like toilet paper and stuff. Okay. What about makeup? Okay. this is a, We'll talk about business expenses. Okay. Uh, what do you think you pay for oh, your business subscriptions and your editors on a monthly basis? My editors, each video is 150. I try to put out four videos a month. Okay. So 600. And then I also pay them to make shorts out of those videos because they already have the program. I could make them myself, but I don't have the program they use. You know what I mean? So are we saying total with makeup and everything, maybe a 900 or a thousand? Yeah, I would say that. Which one? 900 or a thousand? Pick one because you're going to follow it. I'll do 900 because I can limit myself. Wait, what's, what's. Now, are you writing things? Is your CPA. Well, you haven't been writing off things for taxes because you haven't been ta- paying taxes. I write but down everything. I, I know, do but QuickBooks. you haven't been writing off things because you haven't been paying taxes. But I, your CPA is now, though. I haven't legally been doing that, but I've been doing it within QuickBooks. Like, every time I check my QuickBooks, I'm like, oh, this is a business expense. This is a personal expense. You know how QuickBooks works, I'm assuming. It only matters if you file your taxes. Well, I do the work to, to file my taxes in the future because now I'm, I'm ready for 2023 taxes. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not ready to pay them, but I'm ready to do them. So it's four thousand dollars before your business stuff. Add your business. What? How? Oh, because of taxes. I totally forgot that was a thing. Yeah, or else Sorry. you're just gonna get in the future. But here's the thing: I can always make more money. Like, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Adderall shortage is a thing, but we're gonna go past that. I've been slacking right now, so I've make I've been making the lesser amount of. What do you think you can make? I can average. make six thousand. So you can make an extra thousand. So that's it. I can make more, hypothetically, but an, on average, I can make six thousand. Well, we're doing five thousand right now. There's some months generous. in my career where I've made ten thousand a month. I know, and then there's some months where it's much less. So we're yeah. doing the average. So with your business, it's five thousand. So okay, let's say let's just say you have an extra thousand dollars. Okay, an extra thousand dollars because you need to ramp things up because you have no other choice because you have a lot of terrible debt. Yeah. So. In this plan equals you bringing in a minimum six thousand dollars a month. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you Sounds have an extra thousand dollars. Four months. You put the four. You put the thousand dollars aside until you have four thousand dollars saved up because that's what you need in order to operate your business and live. So boom, in four months you have four thousand dollars. That's your emergency fund, starter okay. emergency fund. From there, yeah, we pay off the Target card and PayPal card within month number five. I can do that. I can pay off the Target card right now. No, right? No, no, no. We're saving to $4,000 as quick as we can. Okay, okay. We're doing minimum That's monthly priority. payments until we get that. Minimum okay. monthly payments. And then a thou- and then you have the $4,000. Then we're paying the Target and PayPal card in month number five. Then month number six, seven, eight, and half of nine, we're paying off the MasterCard. Or unless Snowball. I get them consolidated. You can con- if you want to consolidate all your cards, you can. 
Because the interest rates are really bad. Actually, that might be the better method. Maybe we yeah. take the Apple Card, we take the Amex, we take the MasterCard. I'm waiting to do that now because I have it. to do my taxes first so I can get approved for it. Do that and then kill that as quick as you can. Then kill your car as quick as you can. And then most likely kill your student loans as quick as you can as well. So this is a dumb question I'm going to ask you. Ask me. When can I buy a house? Uh, in a bit. We'll get, we'll get there. Actually, it's $37,000, so that's before we calculated... So actually, your debt is because I forgot about the nine thousand new nine thousand dollars student loans. So forty six thousand four hundred ninety dollars is your debt that you've built up to just twenty two, plus the four thousand dollars you you uh, have, and then we're gonna get you twenty thousand dollar emergency fund after this. So the total amount of money that needs to be created to pay all this off, and then this isn't even taking into account interest. So let's just take into account interest because you're paying it off aggressively. Let's say now it's just at seventy thousand total. That's going to take 70 months. What's 70 months? 70 months divided by 12. It's six years. So this takes six years of you not going out to you once or I, anything. I can do it faster. Okay, good. I want you to do it faster, but that's if you put $1,000 towards it a month by following my pretty strict budget, saving up for your taxes, making sure you're saving up for taxes, deduct everything you can. Hopefully you have a little left over, and then you can you know, uh, pay your taxes quarterly so you know what you can put So where do put I put towards. the money from the taxes? You can put it in a high-yield savings account. You can open it with a new one. Open it with Ally. I don't care. So I put the money that I'm supposed to be saving for taxes in a saving account? Mm-hmm. And then... Uh-huh. And then and then when it's time to pay the taxes, I take it out? Yep. And pay it quarterly. But then I have a different savings account for my emergency fund? Yep. And you can have different uh, accounts within your account in Ally if you want to do that. So you can have your tax account and, and your Ally? emergency fund. Ally. Ally.com. Ally Bank. Something okay. like that. Yeah. It's a banking it's a bank. Because I do everything through yield. American Express because that's just what I started at, at 16. Just search Ally, high okay. yield. It'll be good there. Also, do you know something that can cancel my subscriptions automatically? Or do you not trust those things? Yeah. No, you could do. You could sign up for Rocket Money. Because I'm scared to put things, my information in those websites. No, Rocket Money's fine. Okay. Now, I've worked with them here. I use them. Okay. Rocket Money's good. Rocket Money's good. And you can cancel subscriptions through them. Uh, and then, so, yeah, I mean, if you do an extra... What was it? Six years? Is that what we said? I mean, if you do an extra two thousand hours a month towards all this stuff, and that's getting pretty aggressive for what you said on your best, like uh, six months on average, or six thousand hours on average on good months. So now this would be seven thousand hours on average. That'd get it down to three years. I'm doing math in my head because sometimes I'll get big donations, but I used to. But now the Twitch atmosphere has changed. So it's just kind of like, like randomly one day I might get a thousand dollars, you know? Yeah. Well, when you do that, set 25% aside for taxes, make sure you have enough to cover your monthly budget. And then the rest of it goes towards paying the debt, uh, credit, uh, target, PayPal, credit card consolidation, car, and then student loans. Okay. After I consolidate my credit cards, how do I get rid of them? You, you pay off that consolidation loan as quick as possible. No, but like the cards itself, do I get rid of them or do I keep them for credit reasons? I don't. You're not a credit card person. It's not like I'm going to use them. I'm just saying, like, do I keep them open? Well, eventually they'll automatically they do. close okay, cool. uh, with no activity. So I think this credit stuff, I think you use the Fizz card, which I'll, I'll send you a link. Uh, either way, I think it's going to be whatever potential goodness you get from credit, in the 500s, by the way, it's, it's being completely negated by it's the sh by the sh by the sh you're just getting absolutely destroyed by the credit card debt you've built up time and time again. It doesn't make sense. You're not a credit card person. I know. So yeah. I would cut them up. I would close them. Yeah. Use the Fizz card. Use your debit card. That's it. Budget. You. What do you have saved for retirement? Is it just that Robinhood account? Yeah, because okay. I wanted to... I already told you about the Roth IRA. So the 5900 that you have setting aside, I'd gather all that up, including selling your Robinhood... Put four thousand dollars aside into the high yield. Boom! That is your that is your initial savings because I forgot about that money. So that already takes care of a few months. Then take that extra thousand nine hundred and so put that towards the master card. Or put that towards the Target PayPal and then the rest towards the credit card consolidation. But why would I put that in savings if my Robinhood is technically my savings? Because it's invested in individual stocks. It's too volatile for emergency funds. So we put them in a high yield savings account high and we let yield? it sit. High yield meaning that it kind of follows where interest rates are at the time. And since interest rates are kind so of a pain in the right now, you're actually getting a pretty good. Um, so it's better than the S&P 500. No, but 
S and P five hundred is better for investing. If this money is sitting there for an emergency, we don't want it to be volatile. volatile. So S and P five hundred, yes, it can average out with dividends reinvested uh, on an annual basis of ten, just over ten percent. But it could totally be down like ten percent one year, fifteen percent. Yeah, because we I don't want that for emergency funds because they're for emergencies. I don't know what I did with State Farm, but I think I get dividends from them on a life Jeez. insurance thing too. Which I oh don't my know. goodness, you've just been talked into everything. Okay, no more of those. It. Stop. Just if you don't understand anything, you don't sign up. Well, because I didn't. I just was like, I need car insurance, and the girl was like, blah 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 no, blah no, no. blah, and I was like, you okay. asked me next. You asked okay. me next. Okay. Time. Oh. I moved here when I was and if 19. I, and if I, I know. That's fine. That's fine. It's fine to do stupid stuff. Yeah. 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 I just think... <sighs> I... Not to rationalize, because I know it's bad and I take responsibility, but I grew up with not a good money role model. No, that's fine. Most of us didn't. Most yeah. of, that's, that's That's the average American story. That's why I'm here to learn. That's why you're here to learn, and that's why I'm helping. And if I don't know the answer to a question you ask me, I will refer you to someone who does. Because sometimes... So no more listening to all that crap and signing up for all that crap. We don't do that. Because in my head, this is how I justify it. I think if I have less debt than my mom, I'm okay. Or if I have less debt than people who go to school, because all my friends went to school and they have like $25,000 a year because they just all, like, whatever loans... I'm okay because I didn't go to school. No, if you're comparing time. yourself to the average person, the average person sucks with money. It doesn't make any sense. Be well above average or else it doesn't even matter. Yeah. Either way, you have nothing safe for retirement. So that's why I'm saying you need to get out of this as quick as you can. Make it three years instead of six years. I don't know if you can actually do that. We'll see. I Okay, good. So you'll be 25 and then you can just start investing. I want you to invest like crazy because you'll be able to retire early and I have to take care of this. You're in such a position where you can just go wild and it'll be amazing. But that's not now. Right now you need to worry about getting that starter emergency fund, paying off the debt. Starter emergency fund's already there because you're going to exit your Robin Hood and you're going to take all that money and you're going to put it in $4,000 in high yield. Then you're going to take that money, you're going to pay off the stupid Target, you're going to pay off the stupid PayPal, you're going to consolidate your credit cards, and then you're going to put the rest of that was left over put it towards that and then start paying that off aggressively then you pay off your car aggressively and then at that point i would actually save up because the federal student loans the interest rates are going to be crazy i'd get to twenty thousand dollar emergency fund then i would pay off your student loans depending on the interest rate we can talk about it then but and then you start investing it? why aren't they forgiving it yeah because it was challenged it's going to be brought to the supreme court the supreme court is one of the most uh right leaning supreme courts we've had uh, really I don't know dumb. about the entire American history, but definitely in the modern history. Yeah. And they are likely to not uphold the Biden. That's man. so dumb because I would have like not had anything. You know what I mean? Because it's like ten thousand dollars, isn't it? Yeah, you would. Uh, you would have been. Forget- I've honestly forgotten what the plan even was. That's what I thought. That's so why long. I wasn't even caring about it. Because I'm like, okay, cool. Because I got the email, and they're like, eh, you really haven't been following it, have you? <laughs> no, because I just don't want to think about it. Yeah, no, it's it's most likely not going. I'm not a betting man, but if I was a betting man. I put it all in red. Red being, they're not forgiving. Um, I love roulette. Never played. <laughs> You've never played? I've never, no. Well, you do like your I'm finances. I'm a gambler. So. I do like, yeah, I like keeping my money and growing it. You can grow with gambling. <laughs> okay, so. Okay. That's the plan. What are you actually going to do? Tell me what this actually looks like. I think I challenge your plan. I, this is like worst case scenario, I'll do your plan. But I feel like if I go balls to the wall, get a little Adderall in me, I can do this really fast. Well, you, what, what does balls to the wall look like? What are you going to do? How much money are you going to bring in? What's the plan? Lay it out. Are you cutting back on all that bull? Yeah. Until it's all paid off and you have a fully funded emergency fund? Yeah, I've already been doing good by cooking more. Been doing well. Is that different than good? I've been changing for the better. My house is kind of messy right now because I feel like that also kind of correlates with cooking. Have you seen this place? I'm mean, like, come on. It's a disaster. <laughs> Mine's worse. I have cats running around. Mm. Um, but yeah. Okay. But okay, that's just so enough. Okay, but then what if I. What are you doing to make more income? Okay, streaming more, um, posting more, taking more sponsors. Fan house, balls to the wall fan house. Because I could, I, I just do kind of bare minimum there because it's like kind of a lot to do, to message people all the time, but I can do that more. 
Okay. And then all that extra money is just going to go to paying off those. Home. We'll just have to see. We'll follow up. I laid out the plan. If you follow the plan, you'll at least get out within six years. At least. I would love you to get out quicker than that, but really, your minimum in order to survive, especially since you need to set money aside for taxes, especially since you so much, so many business expenses, which hopefully you write off against the taxes, just setting aside for business. You'll have to sit down yeah, for CPA. Yeah, majority. Either way, with that, your budget's too much, and your income's too little compared to your budget. Your yeah, needs category is like 90% of your budget. It should be 50% max. So, either way, you need to increase your income drastically through I whatever. Will. Chop up your credit cards. Use the Fizz card. I don't care. Blah, 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 blah. Because I think we of it this see. way. I haven't streamed really. Like I made $400 recently from Twitch. And normally I'd make minimum $2,000 from Twitch. So if I'm making at least $4,500 on Fan House a month and I did the Twitch thing where I make $2,000 from Twitch, no donations, that's 6500 Is that 6500 Yeah, because 4000 plus two. And then donations on top of that. So I could easily, if I actually start doing Twitch like I used to, could yeah, make 7000 it's, it's up to you. It's up to you. Okay. Sorry. If you guys want to see me uh, stream like Tuesdays and Thursday evenings or night, maybe some live financial audits, let me know what the interest is and maybe I'll do that. And you can use your Prime subscription that if you have Amazon Prime to sub to you for free. Really? Mm -hmm. I did not know that. So if someone has Amazon Prime and they watch you, and if they connect the two accounts, they can subscribe to you for free. And everyone has Amazon Prime. So. Yeah. Any uh, final I thoughts? I have Amazon Prime. It's one of my current. <laughs> Any final thoughts? Um, no. I just think, yeah, I'm just going to grind. Because I, I'm lucky that I have a, a job that I can do that. Like, I have the opportunity, like, if I want to work more, I can make more. Even if it's not the healthiest thing for my health, it'll be good for Always take care of your health, but I promise you can work more than you are now. I, Just keep I taking keep taking advantage of therapy. Everyone should do therapy. Yeah. And that's all. That's all I have to say. All right. For her... All right. For her hammer financial score, let's break it down. When it comes to her spending... Two out of ten. It's not the craziest spending, but it's certainly not good. She's not putting towards things that need to be put towards, like bad debt. Her debt, one out of ten. Could be worse if there are things in collections or IRS debt. Well, I guess there is kind of IRS debt with the payment plan. Never mind. I'm making that a zero out of ten. Uh, retirement, zero out of ten. There's nothing. Emergency fund. She has money set aside, but a lot of it it's in single stock, so it's not great. So I'm gonna put that at a two out of ten. Real estate, there's nothing there. Zero out of ten. That aggregates down to about a point five out of ten. Round it up, one out of ten. If you want a free five dollars, use my link in the description below to sign up for Acorns. You'll get a free five dollars. I'll get a free five dollars when you deposit five dollars, and it's a great place to start investing. Don't forget to follow my Instagram and Twitter. Thanks.